Hafidah, and good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Many of God's blessings to all of you here this afternoon to help us present a very, very special resolution to a gentleman who has been in the educational system here on our island of Guam for over 50 years. And uh, my name is Speaker Tina Munya Barnes. And joining me this afternoon is Senator uh, Tello Tadigui. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am here on behalf of the Vice Speaker also, who really wanted to be here, but our schedules are really, really crossed. So I said that I would be more than honored to do it, is not because we're from Mingila, but more importantly, family and friends. Uh, growing up with family, I think we've been together since first grade, right, Peach? But being, being a part of the educational system for so long, I had the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to be at Tizen High School, and I know that some of Mr. Avila's students are here. I know that the University of Guam is here. I see Antalan Middle School here. I see Agata Johnston. I see Price Elementary in the house. And, you know, I even see some of the charter school members here. And I, I just want to say good afternoon and thank you for being here to help us present a resolution to, like I said, a man who's been in the education system for more than five decades, but more importantly, it's, uh, I asked Senator, I told Senator Tadu, we thank you for being here for Vice Speaker, me, and she said, oh, I couldn't have missed this one because he was my GW teacher, so I'm going to give her the honor of helping me uh, pre uh, read the resolution so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I will call Mr. Avila up and Mrs. Avila up uh, after we read the resolution. And then uh, we'll give him an opportunity after we present the resolution to him to say a few words. And then I'm going to ask all of you guys in the audience to please help me join uh, Mr. Avila and Mrs. Avila and the family while we take photos because this is really special. I know he's always had education his heart and I make it a point to see them every Sunday when we're in church, <laughs> you know, at least from a distance. But I want to say um, on behalf of our vice speaker, um, she introduced resolution 225-35LS. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a resolution that was done while we were in legislative session. So it was voted by all the members of the legislature, also co-sponsored by legislative secretary, uh, Amanda Shelter, Shelton, uh, myself, and Senator Tello Tadigui, and all other members of the 35th Guam Legislature. It's relative to recognizing Salvador James Avila on the occasion of his retirement from the Guam Department of Education and commending him for his 50 years of public service to the people of Guam. And Senator Tadigui, if I may, please join me in helping me read the resolution. Ladies and gentlemen, we usually summarize it, but this is for the listening audience, even those family and friends that are in the mainland that couldn't be here. So we'd like to read this so that everyone who's listening has an understanding of the life of Mr. Avila in our education department. So Senator Taitagui. It does give me great pleasure being here because he was my teacher as well, like many of you. And uh, I didn't want to miss this, Sal. I think, it's, I hope I don't break down crying, but here we go. Be it resolved by Amen and in the Cinco de la Slatura Guajan. Whereas Salvador James Avila is a resident of Manila, and he attended Price Elementary School, San Vicente Catholic School, and Father Duenas Memorial School where he learned to prioritize faith and service. He received his Bachelor of Arts degree in secondary, secondary education with a specialization in social studies from the University of Guam. And he also received a Master's of Science degree in behavioral science and is certified in educational administration and supervision. Salvador Avella has been married to Linda Hernandez Avella for 31 years, and they have two beautiful children, Shani Avila and Salvador Avila II, and two grandchildren, Shai Avila and Shaiani Avila Borja. And whereas Salvador James Avila had been actively involved in his community and his Catholic faith, 
and has volunteered to serve as a Rite of Christian Intuition of Adults, RCIA, instructor for 36 years at Santa Teresa Church in Manila. Through his introduction, in instruction and involvement, he was influenced and encouraged by many people. And then, over the span of several services, he also served at Santa Teresa Church as a Teresita Church as a high, high school confirmation teacher, lecturer, minister as a confirmation teacher. He has helped to guide others and grow the seeds, spirituality, and faith in many of the youth. And he has taught the Santa Teresa Church community what it truly means to be a generous person, as he has always been generous with his time, knowledge, and spirit. He's also brought that spirit of generosity into his involvement with league sports on Guam as a Cal Ripken league coach for Manila Titans and a manager of the Manila Reds and Salvador's passion for helping and caring for people and the community he has resonated throughout his life and activities. And whereas, okay, you want me to get going? And whereas during his professional career, Salvador Avella served at the former Dedito Junior High School <laughs> and then worked at GW High School <laughs> in his social studies teacher from 1973 to 1982. He was promoted to the position of assistant principal at George Washington High School and also served as an assistant principal in Inalahan High School and an Augusta Johnston Middle School from 1982 to 1987. He continued on this educational career and served as a Spanish teacher at Simon Sanchez High School. And he was then promoted and served as a principal of Inalahan Middle School and Dedido Middle School from 1987 to 1991. Salvador served as the deputy director of the Guam Department of Education from 1991 to 1992. And he was transitioned to work as the associate superintendent of secondary, then vocational education from 1992 through 1995. He served as a principal of Agata Johnston Middle School in 1995 and 1996. And shortly thereafter, he became the department chairperson and social studies teacher at GW High School from 1996 to 2004. And then he served as a principal of George Washington High School from 2004 to 2005 before transitioning back to his position as department chairperson and teacher from 2005 to 2014. In 2010, he was honored with the Guam Department of Education Teacher of the Year Award. He has been serving as a social studies teacher at Teton High School since 2014 to the present and now retiring from public service. And whereas? The people of Guam celebrate his accomplishments and honor Salvador Villa for being an outstanding public servant and a civic leader, a community where he has helped to shape the environment that aims to reflect the ambition um, and service through providing an atmosphere where youth come to learn to make the right decisions, solve problems, and think creatively to motivate others on a daily basis. Through his community involvement, Salvador Villa has helped build strong communication and interpersonal skills, and he has encouraged countless students from all learning levels and socioeconomic backgrounds to take the opportunity to take charge of their learning and to meet their goals. And he has helped to build a strong faith and even stronger community. And whereas many of Salvador's colleagues have expressed that he is a generous, loyal, dedicated, hardworking, dependable, adaptable, and reliable individual in his role as an educator. He has gone above and beyond his duties as a teacher and administrator on many occasions and continues to do so. He has reflected and cultivated the utmost character and putting value where it is needed. Salvador's attributes resonate within the school that he helped build throughout the years and during his 50 years of service with the Guam Department of Education, he is he, will, he has been recognized for his efforts to support and cooperate um, with staff, faculty, students in the community. 
Um, I want to say Salvador has consistently taken the initiative to ensure a safe, nurturing, and conducive learning environment on a daily basis, and he continues to be passionate about serving Guam students and community. And before I do the resolve clause, I, I want to add that um, literally in the sense of seeing the Avila family at our, our uh, parish church, Santa Teresita, more importantly, not just with the blessings of Christianity and, and, and working closely with the students. I was at Teedzen High School, ladies and gentlemen, and we were talking about the Public Policy Institute and trying to inv uh, invite students to be a part of learning, investigating, researching, working through workshops, meeting experts and leaders within the community, and right there in the middle was Mr. Avila supporting and, and working closely with the students to show them a program that can, that can be advantageous for all the students. And it just made me proud to see a lot of students, and I thought he had been retired from, for, for, for a long time already, but that he was still teaching, so I said, oh my God. What a wonderful blessing to be here. I, I always see you at Santa Teresita, but now I'm seeing you here at Tizen twice over, and I just want to say that it just goes to your character of continuing to build, to build such responsible and nurturing um, uh, educational paths for the people that are surrounded by you. So I want to say on behalf of the people of Guam, be it resolved that Imina Trentai Cinco, Nalas Laturan Guahan does hereby on behalf of our people of Guam recognize Salvador James Avila on the occasion of his retirement from the Guam Department of Education and commend him for 50 years of public service to the people of Guam and be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption whereof and that copies of the same thereafter be transmitted to Mr. Salvador James Avila, to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero, Imagalahin Guahan, Ladies and gentlemen, this was duly and regularly adopted by Imina Trentai Sinkle and Alice Latura and Guahan on the fourth day of October 2019. It was signed by myself as Speaker of the Guam Legislature, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, and our Legislative Secretary, um, uh, Legislative Secretary Amanda Shelton. So if I could have Mr. Avila and Mrs. Avila please come up here and join me. Ladies and gentlemen, bring it down for Sala Villa. <laughs> yeah, that's Sala Villa. On, on behalf of our vice speaker, uh, Talina Nelson, and of course, our th members of the 35th Guam Legislature, we congratulate you on your new journey. I know that the love you have for Guam and education and, and faith-based learning is still very important to you, and I know that will always be on your heart, but a little gesture to show how much we appreciate you. And may the spirit of what you've done with Inafa Malik for education throughout the community, God bless you on your future in Endeavors. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's really important that we ask Mr. Avila to say a few words, right? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker and uh, Senator Tidigui. And to everyone that is here this afternoon, um, it's very difficult to find the um, right words to express uh, the feeling that I have. The strength that I have is family, and we have my family present right here, <laughs> and my wife. Uh, I was able to do all the things that I can because they gave me the support, they gave me the time, and they also gave me the encouragement when times were really rough and I was feeling down. And I was able to stay in education, especially my first choice as a teacher, for so many years only because of you. It is the students that I meet along the way, and I have met so many, 
and it's the greetings that I get and the memories that we share when we bump into each other in this uh, small island. And then I find out that I bump into you also off island <laughs> and in the airports and every place else. There's no way I could escape. I began to realize that there has been many, many students that has affected my life and I know that in one way or another, through their welcoming and greetings that they share with me, um, that I have affected theirs. And that, to me, is the greatest joy. Uh, it's not the money that one can make as a teacher, but it's actually the long-lasting uh, success that you pass on to your students that they can live a very happy life. And that's where it all begins, is that we form something very similar to an island family. Thank you very much, and I know I had you two years ago, some three years ago, some just last year. <laughs> and you know that she knows how to really sing. That's how I really uh, got an eye for her when I saw her. Anyhow, uh, you took enough time to get out of the University of Guam. It's nice to see you guys succeed and pursuing an education. Some of you are graduating in May of 2020. And a good number of you are valedictorians, salutatorians. I think we got the corner of the high-ranking students in central Guam. And, and that's a tribute, uh, not just to the teachers that you have met from elementary to high school, but also your families, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, and most especially your own self-determination. So thank you very much for this occasion. Mr. Avila. And at this time, I know that there are a lot of family and friends and other teachers and, and uh, friends just wanting to be here. Why don't you please join us up here so we can take an official photo uh, as, as we say goodbye to our listening audience who's watching over this resolution presentation. We'll come up for a photo. God, God bless, and we hope everybody has a good weekend so we can have the family and friends and the teachers and, and professors. Please come up and join us.